The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Wall Street Money Hour with your host, Peter Bruno. Call 1-877-927-6648 to talk with Peter live. Now, Peter Bruno. And welcome, everyone, to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And once again, I'd like to thank Basil for uh, giving us a plug at the end of uh, his program that he sat in for Larry. And I was very nice of him, very courteous, courteous of him to do so. So I want him to know we appreciate that. Uh, we uh, talked yesterday about the uh, action alerts that we sent out. Uh, based on uh, 928, and uh, we have that on the screen now. And uh, basically, we said uh, we had suggested on previous alerts that the month of September and October are seasonally down months. September continues in a downward trend. However, seasonal lows are usually seen in October. Well, we're not there yet because I mentioned uh, yesterday that we had a couple of hundred points, uh, three or four hundred points to go down to the 4,240 area, 4,220 area. However, we did show on a daily basis that uh, the market could rally as it did yesterday. And our target forecast was in the uh, 4,302, 4,303. And that's where we got to. We got to that target. And then today we uh, are far away from that at 4,289 basis, the ES. A little known end of the month trading cycle uh, is over today. And as I mentioned yesterday also, that it works very well in the bull market. But since we're in the bear market, uh, the opposite takes place because of uh, markets moving down uh, this particular week. We also mentioned in our action alert that we were uh, our trading account was attempting to buy Amazon at 124.44. Uh, we never got to that level. We also said, in addition to that, we wanted to buy Netflix at three under three seventy dollars a share, and sure enough, today it came down quite a bit uh, and fell to to the three sixty eight and change. So we definitely, based on our action alert, bought Netflix today at the six three sixty nine three sixty nine fifty, I believe was a, was the price. And then the uh, NVIDIA, we tried to buy at 416.58, and we missed that by uh, quite a few points. And at 444, uh, that would have been a, a great trade, but uh, you can't get them all. Uh, and then we said that these downside price targets have been identified as potential target prices, basis are AI calculations. And although we can expect more downside on these stocks, we anticipate that we are buying at lower trading price levels uh, for the longer term. And what we said was we're trying to build a toe in the water position, taking advantage of markets moving down and buying at lower prices. Uh, you can only do that when the markets are moving down. You can't do that when the markets are moving up because you'll, you know, they'll never come back down to the price that you, you want to buy at. But if you do a toe in the water, by scaling into these particular good quality stocks uh, that basically are the movers uh, of the uh, NASDAQ and the, uh, the movers that everyone's attention is based on uh, those FANG stocks and, and Meta and so on, uh, then we know that you're going to get action based on uh, buying and selling of, 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 the, of those stocks. Uh, uh, yesterday, we also mentioned that on our, uh, as a test, uh, we were talking about the Wall Street Money Letter, and we were talking about uh, a test uh, uh, of what an action alert would look like. Uh, we mentioned that uh, we, uh, uh, in that test, we wanted to buy three stocks that were overbought, I'm sorry, that were oversold uh, with a tone of water within those stocks. Those three stocks were Amazon. Uh, Visa and Netflix, and uh, we we bought um, uh, we bought Visa. I mean, we bought Netflix uh, uh, as well 
based on the market moving down, but we did not buy Amazon uh, nor uh, Netflix. Uh, but we did buy Visa, and uh, we're up a couple of points on Visa. Let's see where we are uh, with the Visa today. Uh, the market, by the way, is down 26 points. S&P is down 8.97, and NASDAQ is down 26. And Visa is at 232.79. And uh, uh, we executed that trade uh, at, at, a, at, a lower, at, a, at a lower price. Okay, so that uh, basically the Wall Street money letter is based on uh, a weekly market analysis and forecast that we uh, identify uh, for subscribers. And then we also uh, give action alerts. And the action alerts are uh, based on the fact that if we see something during the day that we want to buy based on our oversold condition of a stock, of a stock uh, and we're willing to buy it ourselves, then we say, okay, we want to buy it in the uh, action alert trading account. And then immediately we send out a email uh, to the subscriber saying that today we bought XYZ or whatever at this particular price. Now the subscriber has three choices. Choice number one, they could they could ignore uh, the buy signal. Uh, choice number two, they can pick up the their phone and call their broker and follow us in that particular trade. And and uh, option number three is they say, well, I'm not sure how confident I am in this person's uh, analysis, so let me just uh, track it and see what would have happened if I would have bought that stock. Uh, uh, today. And uh, we encourage that as well uh, to get to know uh, us and get to know our, our systems and our analysis and uh, build credibility uh, to when we do send out an action alert. Uh, the next time, if the stock does go up and you say, oh boy, I missed that, that trade, well, too late. Uh, if you missed the trade at the buy point that we had suggested, then the next time we send out an action alert, uh, pretty much you'll be sure to to join us in that. Uh, we, of course, like all other newsletters on TFNN, have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So basically, you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. And the 30-day should have uh, some action alerts within those 30-day periods of time. Uh, believe me, if we don't consider buying anything during those 30 days, you won't be getting an action alert. Uh, but that uh, is, is far, uh, far, far between what normally would happen. There should be at least five or ten action alerts. And there's always something to buy because, as we say, we have analysis that covers every, every market of its kind. So, therefore, if, uh, if, you know, there's always a bull market going somewhere. And, uh, you know, and we're an anxious to be on board a bull market in a stock or a bull market in a uh, uh, index. Uh, the, uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are pulling their hair with oil. Uh, the, the oil index, CL, uh, is down another 1.47 uh, points. Uh, and uh, gold is down another $1.30 to 1833. Uh, we'll be right back after this break. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is the host, Peter Bruno. And uh, yesterday we had given an upside target of, of 4302, 4302, 03, uh, which was achieved. I think we did that maybe 20 points below uh, the market at that time. Right now, the ES uh, S&P is at 4290. And... Uh, uh, low today was uh, 42, uh, 70 or so. So these numbers change every day. It's the market cycles. The reason why I use cycle analysis is because uh, nothing remains the same. If people were using technical analysis based on uh, firm numbers, or they use moving averages or MACD or, or or whatever they use, which we don't, uh, we don't use anything like that. Uh, however, if, they, if they're using something like that, they're stuck in the mud because they have to stick with their targets. They have to stick with their their analysis, but it's not changing. Uh, cycles analysis change because the markets move in cycles. And as they move in cycles, numbers change as well. So we want to be uh, on the inside of changes that are taking place within the market. And as I mentioned on the program previously that whatever numbers we may have mentioned yesterday or the day before or the day before change. They change every day. The market closes at 4 p.m. basis, the overall stock market. Uh, the futures close uh, 5 o'clock uh, p.m. They open up for overnight trading at 6 p.m. And, uh, and they're trading until 8 o'clock in the morning. That's the difference between the pit session which is a session that begins during the day. That's when you see the people yelling and screaming and buying and selling and so on and so forth. And then Globex. Globex is what takes starts at 6 p.m. in the evening and co covers the markets and the futures mostly. There are some uh, stocks that trade overnight as well, but for the futures where the action is, uh, they trade to the following the following morning, and that's based on Globex. Now, the difference between Globex and the pit session is that the pit session involves individuals. It involves people that are yelling and screaming, and and I believe in my heart of heart, at least knowing some uh, traders that traded on the on the on the, on the floor of the exchanges, that there is a sense of manipulation that t can take place. And certainly you don't want to be on the wrong side of the uh, manipulation. 
But Globex is strictly computers. It's one computer talking to the other. So our, our systems work very, very well on, on Globex because if there's a buy order and a sell order, uh, they're going to match it if the market is moving uh, up or down. You don't get too much action at 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, through, I guess, 8 o'clock is when the stocks stop trading and then the futures start trading uh, higher than that. Basically, 3 in the morning is when the the uh, uh, Europe opens and that's where the European markets open and the people in the European markets start uh I think I lost my camera here. Uh, and the European markets start to. Uh, uh, let me see, I'm still. Uh, let me see if I can adjust this correctly. Uh, no. Okay, I think I, I have that there. Okay, and so the European markets, they start trading. And basically, they're trading throughout the hours since the opening of their market. And that's why at. Eight o'clock in the morning, uh, most professional traders are looking at the the futures uh, or the anticipated opening of stocks or the the anticipated opening of the futures, and it gives them an indication whether the market at 9:30 is going to be open open on a a positive or a negative basis. Now, tomorrow there's a jobs report, which everyone is anticipating that can uh, move the market up or down, and uh, we find that, uh, uh, well, I get to put, put a word to it, silly, because uh, we love it because it gives us the volatility uh, in trading these markets, and when you're doing cycles, you need volatility. You need, if something's going, you know, no volume and straight across at the same price, there's no opportunity of buying low and selling high. But if the market is uh, volatile, moving up and down, then you have an opportunity to buy low and sell high or sell high and try to buy, buy back low. Uh, I find that uh, if I only had to trade one day a month or a quarter, it would be when the Federal Reserve is meeting. When the Federal Reserve is meeting, these people in the market are crazy because they're taking a bet on both sides of the market of whether the Fed is going to raise interest rates, lower interest rates, stay the same, and you get tremendous amount of volatility even after uh, the announcement is made at 2 p.m. in the afternoon and then, of course, the, uh, the conference that they have. So we find that uh, we look at our uh, algorithm the trading and the AI, and we look at the support levels and the resistance levels, and that's where we place our buy orders at the buy level and uh, resistance level at the uh, for the sell orders. And believe it or not, you know when the announcements are made, uh, either we we sell it at the resistance level, and then later on buy it back at the buy level, because that's how these markets uh, fluctuate. I remember many, many years ago, well, I said it was silly, I guess uh, maybe it's not a word I should use, but many, many years ago, there was on a Thursday afternoon, there was money supply. And everyone was focused on money supply. Uh, and whatever the numbers would come out uh, would be the way uh, market the professionals would trade based on the money supply. Uh, today, you never even hear the word. <laughs> except that you're listening to this program, and uh, it means nothing. Uh, and it also doesn't mean anything with the jobs report, uh, and it doesn't mean anything with, with the producer price index and see if I the, the, the market is the only thing that is right or wrong, uh, is, is right all the time. Everybody else is wrong. You know, I was at a, a seminar uh, 20 years ago, uh, we were in a, a, a big hotel on Long Island. <clears throat> Excuse me, there were about uh, two or 3,000 people. My wife and daughter were, were were there as well. And when it was time for me to speak, uh, I had mentioned that uh, no one really knows what the market's going to do. 
no one really knows if the market is going to be moving up, if the market is going to be moving down, uh, what price is going to target to, what price is going to decline to. Uh, that, you know, if, if, if you're watching any of these people on Bloomberg or CNBC and so on, uh, in, including some of the, the hosts of some of those programs, if you, if you looked at their track record, uh, they're wrong most of the time. And everyone is wrong most of the time because no one is really able to uh, know exactly what the market is going to do. I received criticism from both my wife and daughter <clears throat> when I, at, at the end of my presentation. And they said, when you tell people that no one knows, you're telling them that you don't know either. And I said, I don't know either, but I'm using some research that at least can get me in the right direction the way the market is going. We'll be right back after the short break. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. NN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And before the break, we had mentioned the conference I was at, which I mentioned that no one really knows uh, what's going to happen with the market, uh, no matter who gives a forecast. Uh, if the forecast doesn't work out and if they're wrong, uh, then the market is always right and the person giving the forecast is wrong. Uh, so therefore, uh, that's a challenge in order to come up with a, 
uh, original form of research analysis that can uh, be able to forecast uh, where the market is going. And you can only be able to forecast where you think the market is going or should go uh, if you are able to, uh, as we have uh, created an original form of research analysis, which is uh, unique and proprietary with us. Now, yesterday we mentioned that the market can get up to the 43.03 level, and uh, and we got there. Uh, we were maybe 20 points be below that when we gave that uh, that forecast. We also gave a downside forecast, which uh, was not achieved because the market was rallying and and moving up. As I say, that every day these numbers change, and today the numbers are changed as well. The the upside target. Uh, is no longer 4302 because that was yesterday's number. Uh, the, t the target today is at 4292, and here we are at 4291.75 uh, on on the yes. Uh, the downside uh, target uh, is more like uh, 4256, and uh, I guess we got down to uh, I don't know how far down we got down. Uh, Prior to, let's see what the low was today, uh, it was around 42.65, I think. Uh, so anyway, we didn't get to 42.56. However, that would only happen if the market suddenly uh, crumbles here and uh, and move move back down. Now, this number of 42.92 is an important number because it's uh, it's a, a doorway, if you will, uh, for where the market should go through. Uh, if the market goes through the 42.92, then you have a chance of going up the stairs to another upside target of 42.97. Uh, and 42.97, now if you were believing that the market is going to move down, and this was a, a uh, short-term rally uh, into uh, uh, the, the jobs report tomorrow, then you would sell short. Uh, beginning at 42.92, and if it goes up to 42.97, you sell short again at that at that point. Now we mentioned that we're talking about the S&P 500, which are you can trade two things: you can trade the ES, which goes up $50 a point, or you can trade the MES uh, micro, which goes up $5 a point. So the more confidence that you have within a, a forecast, you add. Uh, the ES, if you're not too sure about uh, the forecast, then you trade the MES. That's what we, we try to do. Uh, we, now, we also have numbers on on individual stocks that Megan Ramsey, uh, our uh, algorithmic person that figures out these numbers and uses uh, AI and so on, uh, comes up with these numbers during the day and giving us a buy and sell signal for uh, these particular uh, indices and or uh, stocks for that matter. Uh, and that becomes available within the Wall Street money letter because that's how we give out action alerts uh, of what to buy and what prices uh, to buy. Okay, so if we look at the uh, screen here, uh, the Wall Street money letter, uh, let me just give you a review of that because we're, uh, we're TFNN is working on getting it uh, up on online. Uh, it gives us the uh, weekly market analysis and forecast, and that goes on. I work on that over the weekend, so it goes out on Monday morning before the market opens, and we tell you exactly what we see. Uh, our, our, our forecast for the upside, our forecast for the downside. We also give a, a report on the issues that were under consideration. Here in our test case yesterday, uh, we had three stocks that we uh, were using as a tone of water for the uh, listening audience to see uh, how well our analysis works. And certainly uh, it worked well by buying uh, the stocks at the one price of the low price that we were looking to buy. And we bought Visa and that was up a couple of points uh, after we bought it. Uh, hopefully in time, all three stocks that were recommended on this program yesterday would be higher, and then you would have to 
concern yourself of when to take the profit or when to sell. And if we're looking at our analysis and we see that we want to take a profit in a particular security or index because it happens to be overbought based on our analysis, we'll send out an action alert to say we bought this stock at this price and we suggest selling it at this price and we sell it within our our trading account and that's our track record so basically we're telling you to sell it at the same price we're selling it out you can sell it at a higher price that's great uh, but we're using the price that we sold it at uh, basis our our track record and then we continue down to the uh, proprietary trading formulas telling you about our stock, the algorithmic trading, which is Megan Ramsey, we mentioned, does that, our action alerts that I, I explained, and that these are the things that we could send action alerts on. Uh, ETF, short-term trading stocks, index futures, low-price stocks, which I explained yesterday, uh, basis of January effect, uh, overnight 24-hour futures and stock trading, uh, there's not that much volume in stocks right now, uh, overnight, but there's certainly a lot of volume in in the futures. Options trading strategy, we discussed that uh, a few programs ago where we mentioned that uh, if you are an option trader, uh, we recommend not buying calls because 90% of the people that buy call options never exercise uh, their call options. Why? Because they're all enthusiastic at the time that we want to buy a call option, thinking that the price of what we're buying is going to be higher uh, at the expiration date of the of the call, and you're paying a premium in order to uh, have that privilege of exercising your trade. And if 95% of the people never exercise their their call option, that means that 95% of the people uh, are on the other side uh, make money in selling uh, the puts or in buying put options. So we like to sell puts at the support levels that we believe that stocks will go down to and hold their support. And if we're right, and, and let's say on Visa, uh, we were right at the support level that we bought Visa at, and it goes up two or three points, whatever points it goes up, the, the price that you sold the put option at goes down. So therefore, if you sold at 40, you can get back at 35. So that's how you make money by selling put options. It's a very conservative approach and it goes hand in glove with our research. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And uh, might as well go into a further explanation about uh, what we were talking about in the selling put options. And uh, giving an example of Visa uh, that we were talking about uh, earlier, we're up uh, uh, 2.21 points uh, today uh, at 233.44. Uh, the high today is 233.56. But if we would have purchased Visa yesterday uh, at, uh, let's say, 230, uh, actually, it's 227, uh, let's say 230, if anyone has access to their brokerage account, and if you look at the option chain uh, for Visa, which I'm looking at now, uh, you basically see in October 27, that's the the month that we're looking at as far as an expiration for Visa, if you're looking at the 230 put, the 230 put on Visa is right now 395 bid to 405 ass. So if we were going to do this today, and I don't recommend doing it today, I recommend doing it yesterday <laughs> before the market went up two points uh, for Visa. But let's just say if we were doing it today as an example, uh, and we, we sold the option at $4 a share. For every option that we sell, it, it, you need 100 shares. So so a four, $4 a share would be, you'd be collecting $400 as a premium for selling for, for selling it. And, and therefore, if you were sold it, and if uh, Visa uh, goes up from 230 to 235, Okay, the option that you paid $4 for goes down to 350 and you're able to cover that that sale making about, remember, that's one one trade. Ten trades would be uh, enough, but you have to have enough money in your account to cover the trade. Okay, I believe we're up against a break, uh, I think. Uh, so uh, if we are, then I'll be right back. And if we're not, I'll still be... <laughs> And if we're not, I'll still be here. Uh, I don't know. I heard. Uh, I thought I heard a signal that we were uh, ready to go on a break. I guess uh, uh, not yet. I guess Al, you'll 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 let me know. And uh, boy, my my appreciation goes out to uh, both Al and and Jacob for uh, uh, the patience that they've had uh, with me over the last couple of days in order to get uh, situated uh, where we are. Okay. So the way to put option. Uh, selling a put option works is you have a stock that basically you, you have to say to yourself, do I want to own Visa at 230, okay, which is our support level? Do, do you want to own uh, Amazon uh, at uh, uh, Amazon right now is down 68 cents to 126.33? Do you want to own it at uh, 124? Okay, and if you are willing to own it at 124, then that's what you 
uh, you want to buy. If you want to own Netflix, uh, at uh, it's right now it's down four. It was as low as two three sixty seven. Remember, I said we were able to buy it at three sixty nine. Uh, right now it's three seventy two seventy one. So if you would have purchased the or sold the put option instead of buying the stock, uh, you would have uh, you would have already started making some money uh, with the put that you you had. So the problem with selling put options is that you have to have enough money in your account in order to cover the purchase of the price that you want to that you're paying for it. Uh, if you get assigned that stock on that particular date by the person that that uh, was on the other side of your trade. So that's a disadvantage. You have to have enough money where you have to sell the puts at, at a particular price uh, so that you know that you have enough money and they keep that money uh, protected in the event uh, you are assigned a stock. And you can be assigned a stock at any time, uh, as well as you can cover uh, the sale of your put by buying it at a lower price at any time, you don't have to wait for the for the expiration date, uh, depending on you know the market climate that you you have. Okay, so we would be recommending uh, options as well uh, within the newsletter, and then we talk about uh, the members of the Wall Street Money uh, letter. Uh, this is uh, Megan Ramsey, the director of our algorithmic research. She's the one that worked very very hard. Uh, coming up with these these numbers throughout the day and overnight, for that matter, uh, after uh, markets close and the futures open uh, after a couple of hours. And uh, that's her job, and she does a, a, a tremendous job, and she'll even do a better job if the three stocks that we, we bought at the prices that we bought them at uh, are all in a profit. And I'm pretty pretty confident that that's going to happen. Uh, here's my daughter, Dr. Ellen Bruno Ramsey, uh, Megan's mother, uh, who uh, some of you may remember from uh, uh, years ago. She did a buy, sell, a whole radio program. She was the youngest financial talk show host on the air at that time. Uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, uh, in 2000, when I was a guest on her program and uh, my program followed her program. Uh, I had mentioned that the market was going to go down based on our cycles, pretty similar to what we did with the current market uh, moving down. And uh, uh, and I remember being on a program, and the, the year was 2000. I said the market was going to go down for a couple of years. We had the technology bust of those stocks and so on. And I remember her taking off her, her earphones and saying, okay, well, I guess I'll I'll finish up my uh, doctorate program at uh, the university. And I said, what are you doing? You're the, have the most popular show on, on, on the air. You're the youngest talk show host. Uh, why are you giving up your program? And she says, Dad, you just told everyone the market's moving down. I do a buy, sell, a whole radio program. All I have to do is tell them to sell. And uh, I couldn't argue. <laughs> I couldn't argue at that point, but uh, in any event, uh, I'm so proud of her now because she's the uh, professor at U Lynn University. Uh, she's the online uh, uh, director of all their training, training, training online. And uh, you know, she found her, her passion. She found her niche. And uh, she's, uh, uh, she's doing very, very well. Okay, so that's our Wall Street money letter. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, the only reason why I'm mentioning that on this program is because uh, as hard as CFN is trying to uh, uh, get our uh, website up on online, uh, it's not there yet. So uh, I might as well uh, tell you about it. So if you don't have an opportunity to see, see about it yourself by reading the uh, disclaimer uh, that we have within that, that program. Okay, so the uh, the market right now is at 42.96, uh, 25. It hit a high of uh, 4,300. We mentioned that if we moved above the uh, level, uh, that the next level would be the 96 level, 
And that's where we are at this point. Uh, we'll be right back after this break. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And, and since we were talking about the three stops that we had mentioned in the uh, action alert uh, testing that we were doing yesterday. Let's look at what those charts are saying uh, Saying now. We have the chart of Visa up, uh, and uh, you know, Visa is, as we show you how our oscillator works, uh, we get down to support, which is a support level, which would have been down here, and then it holds support, and then it moves up into resistance, and after it goes to resistance, you're supposed to sell it, and it goes down to close to support again, and then you buy it at support, and then you sell it at resistance, and now we're buying at support. That's basically how our, our systems work. We mentioned uh, another stock was um, uh, uh, Netflix, okay? And Netflix, again, uh, follows the same kind of pattern so here was Netflix's sale at 445, and it's had come all the way down to uh, 376 uh, as well, or 372. And basically, uh, that's why we had recommended uh, uh, that stock as well. And then Amazon is another stock that was oversold. And here's Amazon 
follows the same pattern of uh, holding support and then selling at, at resistance. Uh, I mentioned that one of the things that we go against, well, not go against, but we just disagree with, is every textbook that you would ever read about the stock market, and if you're beginning in the stock market, uh, everyone will say, never add to a losing position. And that's a very true statement. And 99% of the people that don't have access to this radio program or TV program or, or our analysis uh, would be good advice because no one knows if the stock is moving down, if it's going to continue to move down uh, to a lower level. Uh, that's why we don't use stops and we just use our support level. Uh, we thank you very much for listening today. We'll be back same time tomorrow. Are you ready to take your